Hey guys, the Crafty Pilot here, and today we're going to be setting up the FMC. This is the second video in this series of tutorials. This is the X-Crafts Embraer 175, and this is, as I said, the second tutorial in my FMC series. So, uh, I have the route displaying right down on the bottom of your screen. Right now, we are set up at San Diego International Airport. The scenery is by Mr. X6. I'll leave a link to this scenery in the description. The airplane itself is very laggy. As you can see, I'm, I'm trying to move around it. It's not really liking my commands. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the cockpit. So I started it up myself as there's no way to automatically put it into a start position. Anyway, this is how the overhead panel looks right now. I'm just going to turn the bleeds on. So let's get started. So I'm just going to try to position myself here. So I'm just going to start off by saying right now, this FMC is very weird and not just in the sense that it's like the FMC, like how it was actually made is weird. Whoa. Um, hello. Um, I don't need to see you. Goodbye. So, the, as you can see, is not a conventional FMC as you would see in any normal airliner. The entire system is weird, so bear with me on this one. If you have any questions, post a comment in the comment section. First things first, the departure from San Diego. Obviously, the departure is from K-San, K-S-A-N, and that goes in airport. So You'll, you'll notice as we go through this, we don't use the line select keys as much as you normally do. So we're from San Diego, taking off from runway 27. So you have to, you have to use these little, you have to use this knob in order to select what you want. So I'm going to select runway 27, and then you have to click the button in order to confirm it. So now the runway is programmed. Our SID, as you saw, is the Pebble 6 departure, and that's down here, so Pebble 6 dash, hold on, what did you do? Ugh, I hate this thing, it's so annoying. Select Pebble 6, and click that in, and it says, it says SID stored, and then the transition, we're going to Santa Catalina, that's the second one, so select that. And then it says SID stored, means the transition, same thing. So then you go back, go back to the MCDU index, and that has been programmed in. The next thing you want to do is, if you need to add route waypoints, if you add waypoints in between your departure and your arrival, so you head in here. So in order to select what type of point, you can select it here, fix, NDV, airport, whatever you want. My first fix on the plan, as you saw, was the transition from the Pebble 6 departure, which is Santa Catalina, and that's a VOR, so just enter that in, S, X, C, and that goes in Nav 8, and that automatically fills in Santa Catalina. You can program an altitude for the VNAV if you wish to do so. I usually just put this in level change mode. Anyway, click save, and it takes you to the next one. Point two is the Los Angeles VOR, which is L A X, and that goes in Nav 8 as well. And then save that. The next Nav 8 is the transition to the KPEC 3 arrival in Las Vegas which is Daggett, D, A, G, and that 
because in that they disrupt. So we can save that, and all of our roots have been programmed, so we can go back to the MCDU index. The next thing we want to do is program our arrival. So we'll go into, not star edit, go into arrival. The airport is K Loss, which is Las Vegas. K L A S. That goes in airport. The arriving runway, let's just say it's going to be runway one right. Our arrival is going to be the KPEC 3 arrival. So it's not on this page, and you can go to the next one by clicking on next. We'll just refer here. So there's the KPEC 3 arrival, and you want to make sure it's from the right transition. So it says KPEC 3 from DAG or DAGIT, and that's our transition. So we're going to click on that one. It says star element store. The next thing we want to do is the approach transition. So right now, all it's telling us our options are is for the RNAV procedure for runway one right, and for now that's okay. So we're just going to select BOACH as our transition to runway one right. And then we have to select our final approach, which is obviously which is obviously going to be the RNAV for runway one right. So it's star element stored. That means everything has been put in. And if you want to see where all of your star and SID waypoints are in case you want to change some things around. You can go into the SID or star edit page and it shows you all of the points in that procedure. It also tells you the altitudes, the altitude restrictions, and you can have the plane follow those restrictions by clicking on the VNAV button, which I think is it's hidden somewhere behind these buttons. Um, but you can click on the VNAV button to uh, to follow these program restrictions by the FNC. And same thing, you can actually go around and edit the waypoints by selecting them. Let's just say you want to be at 18,000 at Pebble. So you click on Pebble and you can see the altitude is zero. So you can just type in 18 thousand and put that in altitude and that will this will become orange indicating that it's not saved so you can just hit update waypoint and then pebble will have 18,000 as an altitude restriction so that's your program restrictions you can do the same thing the same thing with editing waypoints um, in the in the uh, add root waypoints or root edit. You can edit your waypoints from your normal route in root edit. Same thing with the star edit page for your arrival. Now you'll notice if you go into the flight plan page, it says plan not loaded. I beg you, please do not try to put stuff in the FMS plans folder. That will not show up unless you put it in the, unless you look under load. That will show you all of your FMS plans. You can also save this flight plan to an, FN to an FMS file. In order to make this route active and to make it show up on your radar screen, all you have to do is hit execute and it, it, it links all of your elements of your flight plan together. And now, if you head into flight plan, you can see all of your restrictions, your points, your types, and the number waypoint. So it has all of these waypoints combined. And if you look on your route page, on your nav display, you'll see this little red line come up, which indicates your route. Other than that, there is not much more to this FMC. There's no performance in it, nothing like that. Basically just give it, you know, a decent amount of fuel for the route you'll, that you'll be flying and start up the engines and you will be ready to go. That is it. That's pretty much it for this FMC tutorial. 
Um, I hope you guys like this video. Leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and I hope to see you guys again sometime soon. See you guys later.